And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of SKS Plays Euro Truck Simulator 2. So the game updated from the last time I played, and it's caused some issues. One is, well, I'm now here. If you don't know where here is, I'm back at my garage. Um, it actually started me facing toward the garage, and I rolled all the way back into the middle of the road before I figured out I needed to turn my engine on and not get hit by cars. So that was something interesting to have to deal with. Um, but so the game updated, and if I go to the map, you'll see now we're in Dortmund, and we were last in Newcastle, so my my little conquest of going down the side here and coming out is obviously not going to happen right now so what we need to do is figure out what we're going to do we have a lot of places we've not went to in France Reims, Dijon, Lyon, Nyon, Torino down there uh, Mücken, Nuremberg, you know, Roclaw, Poznan you know, Rostock Hamburg. We've got a lot of places we've not hit. Um, so even taking some of the cheaper rides, we can knock out some of that. I um, guess I could hit escape here and go to the job market and see what we're dealing with. Let's see. So we are in Dortmund. So we can go... Oh, we're in the middle for some reason. Let's go back here. So we can go to Strasbourg. Zurich. We've not been to Strasbourg before. I had to think about that one. Damn it, Grimmett! Um, Calais, we've been there. Poznan, we've not been there. Um, that one actually might be a good one to do. It's cross country gets us over there in Eastern Europe. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that one. So, uh, whoops. Let's get ready to drive and take off. Let's go ahead and start this bad jewel up. And let's go pick up our load. Oh, it's so good to be back to where they drive normally on the right side of the road. None of that English bull crap. People from England are like, how come you're disrespecting us? I need to get over here. It's so much more natural to drive like this. I don't know why people would want to uh, go the other way. It's crazy. But it is nice to come back and visit the homestead. I mean, we've not we've not been here for a while. So we got to come back, visit it. Vacation's over now. We need to uh, get back on the road. I guess we come home for the steam summer sale just to enjoy it. Now it's time to get back on the road and make some money. Hopefully Josh and George. I've decided not to fire either one of them yet. I did uh, manipulate some things that I want them to work on now. That's a nice building. So hopefully they will level up on um, some areas that will help them make some more money. Oh, we're just going right down the road here. It's always nice when you're driving in your home neighborhood. You know, it's not a big deal. You're just like, oh, yeah, I'm here. It's just relaxing. It's not a hobby or a chore. I mean, I, I live about an hour and a half away, a little bit over that from where I grew up. And uh turns on up here. And uh, I could drive, like, the whole stretch of interstate, and I could be totally wore out. And then uh, once I get back down there to where I'm, you know, close to home, it's just like, oh, I feel great, you know? Don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, so let's... Uh, Ease on up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do this Poznan one. So, uh, take us across. There she sits. Woo! Ooh. A little close there. 
see how good I am at backing up. Bam! Look at that. Well, let's uh, crank our wheels way this way because we're going to have to turn. So, what are we hauling today? Just normal truckload, looks like. Probably full of pulp or some crap like that. I didn't even pay attention to what we're hauling. You know, that's probably a terrible thing to do, but oh well. SKS does not mind the little matters. Let's go out here and uh, get on the road. Looks like we got a 11-hour uh, trip, so we will be sleeping on the way and probably getting gas. Let's see. Uh, dude, go. Oh, you're letting me out. Appreciate it. Thank you. Why you would let a slow truck in front of you, I have no clue. Now, I've noticed since the patch that some of my buttons don't work. So, I might have to pause the video and go in and reset those. Let's see, my windshield wipers work. I know that my headlights don't work. That makes me a sad panda. Because I'm going to need those. Not right now, but eventually. I think I'll do that right up here at this slide. I'll stop and rebind some of the settings. Alright, I got everything set up, so hopefully we should be good to go now, I hope. I'll be sad if it doesn't. See, do I want to stop and get gas up here? Nah. No, nah, we're too way too early in the... Uh, Way too early in this. Damn it, Grimoth. <laughs> you keep sending me shit. And that's totally going to be used before <laughs> this video goes live. So that's pretty funny, though. I even told him I was making pizza. It's like, I'm making homemade pizza. I'll be right back. He just keeps messaging. I wonder what it's for, though. We'll find out. Looks like we're getting on the on ramp here. We're gonna head east. Look at this. Normally turning onto an on ramp and heading up. It's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful thing. Did some leg workouts this morning. I don't know, just saying it's a beautiful thing made me think of myself working out. <laughs> I guess now I need to, uh, maybe I should do some cardio tonight. Oh, so we're, we're automatically getting right back off this road up here. Well, that was a short stint on the interstate. On whatever road we're on here. I guess we'll get off here. Asphalt. Good to see that again. Missed that as well. Let's see, picking up some speed. Going supersonic. Not really, we're doing like 52. <laughs> Let's get out here in the middle lane. I noticed my cruise control button. There we go. There it kicks in. Fifty-five miles per hour. Cruising up and down road two. Hey, this would be a great time to have some music blasting, but uh, I don't really play this game unless I'm recording. This is one of the things I share with you viewers. You all get to enjoy my company and uh, as I drive around the countryside, having good times. I am tempted to speed up to 60 miles per hour to make this journey a little quicker. And we do have a 388 mile trip, which is not one of the, that's still not one of the longest distances we've done, so. 
Well, me trying to speed up is failing. We made it to 57. Traffic's picking up, too. I haven't really got involved in any more mods yet for this game. It's probably time for that. I'll throw something on here to make it interesting. I'll see what I can find. It's just a great game on its own. Really? You dick face. <laughs> Here I go talking about a good peaceful drive and then dick face white car there. Comes out of nowhere. Cuts me off. Asshole. Oh, but what do we got? It's a nice, beautiful day out. Some basic clouds in the sky. Sun's beaming down. I don't know what else you could ask for. Look at that guy. Why can't I have a load like that? That's pretty beast. I'm jealous. I'm envious of his rig. See, nine hours, if I drove straight, it would put me at like 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8.45 is what it said, so it's going to make me sleep before we get there, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it happens. It happens. It happens to me. Can't you see? You're driving the truck of my dreams down this road of memories. That was beautiful. I want y'all to know that I just come up with that on my own. <laughs> it's a new new hit, classic hit. So yeah, I'm enjoying my last few days of freedom. I think today's the twenty first. Teachers report back August eighth, so it's getting that time of year again. Going tomorrow to finish setting up my room and my desk and my computer and all that. So I'll be classroom ready. Kind of scary. But uh, I got a new room, which is totally backwards from my room last year, but it's a lot bigger. Kind of excited about that. So we'll just have to see how time goes. I do get excited about teaching. I like to talk to kids. I like to hear myself talk. It's probably why I'm a great a great person to LP because, you know, I, I talk a lot and I like to hear myself talk, so Oh god, I was like, What? Loan installments in total of five thousand seven hundred and eighty eight paid. Excellent. At least we're paying our payments. I know there for a while we was kinda stretching thin. It's good to see now that we're not really rolling in the money. I mean, having $50,000 almost is not rolling in the money. Not at all. Y'all have to sleep about halfway through this trip, which sucks. Probably should have slept before... I don't know what that noise is. I hear it. Maybe somebody else honking? I don't know. There it goes again. Maybe it's my load acting weird. Maybe it's somebody filming something. Let's see, we need to get straight here. have a straight thing here. So what we need is Sean Connery to come out here and drive this rig. We can take it all the way back to Scotland. <laughs> I said another thing in. I was watching the United States Major League Baseball All-Star Game, which I only watched like two things, two innings of it. But uh, one of the innings, they had a singer come out and sing uh, 
some I think it was Neil Diamond singing one of his songs for the seventh inning stretch. And I was like, you know, they should totally have like Sean Connery. Sir Sean Connery come out there and sing, Take me out to the ball game. That would be amazing. I take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. <laughs> It'd be amazing. No way nobody ever thought to do that again. Ah, again. It's never been done before, so We knocked out two hours of this trip. Ooh, there's some of those windmills. I know I gotta move go up to Chicago here in the next week or so to help my buddy. He's actually moving back down here to Lexington, which I'm so excited about. Um I'm not excited about the circumstances, but that's a different story. But uh, I promised him I'd go up there and help, and on the way to the drive, you pass a whole bunch of those in Indiana. So I know I've told that story before, but... Damn it, Mr. Crow, why are you online? You're playing the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I wish I could play that. My computer won't run it. No! Oh. It's a big, sharp curve here. I hope I can make this without wrecking. Whoa, okay, so we switched lanes, but that's okay. That's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal whatsoever. It has past noon here. I wonder if my dude, like, snacked on a sandwich or something while he's driving. You know, hog down those processed meats. Things like that. Nom, nom, nom. Dr. Adam Bomb! What are you doing? I'm trying to play a game here. I give lots of people shout outs here when they message me while I'm playing a game. I think people would understand. It's like, hey, he's playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. Maybe I shouldn't message him. Or maybe that's why they message me. Because they know what's going on. That's what it is. It's a conspiracy. It's a Steam conspiracy. 100 miles per hour. Probably kilometers, but... Dude! Oh, good God! That was not good. I blame, I blame Dr. Atom Bomb for that. Good lord. I really hope that didn't damage my load, but I bet it did. 1% damage. I can live with 1% damage. We've had much more damage before. <laughs> that green car come right up on me. It was ridiculous. He was like a snake in the grass. I need to break down another song. But yeah, we're just... This ride is pretty much straight east. We're going to pass by Berlin and everything. But yeah, check this out. It's just like, go northeast a little bit, then just bam, straight east. So, it's crazy. I'm sure that's how like American truck drivers feel when they go from the East Coast to the West Coast, though. I'm sure it's like a boring stretch out there in the middle somewhere. It's when they force themselves to eat salads, you know, instead of getting fries at every stop. It's crazy. I like how your windows never get, like, dirty on here. It's like, they should have bugs flying on them and you gotta stop, you know, or try to clean them off. Windshield wiper fluid, you know, kind of like normal people when they drive. It'd be awesome. If 
I'm also not running any road construction this way. Maybe this west-east route is totally fixed. I thought the shadow right there, right there was a uh, car stalled on the road, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to plow into that. You know your mind is floating when you come up with your own obstacles for a video game. Let's see, we only got five hours to drive. Uh, almost lost it. Maybe I should get in a slower lane. It's probably the wrong time to come over, but you know. There we go. Should we stop here and park and get gas and everything? I don't know if this is a good midway point or not. Oh, I'm hitting the strips on the side of the road, I guess. Yeah, it's the rumble strips. It's warning me that I'm going off the road. That's awesome. I hit those all the time when I'm driving home. No, I'm not, because I'm always in the fast lane over there. I don't think I'll stop at this one. We'll stop at the next one. I think that was a BP station. I don't know. That was a hiccup. That was another hiccup. The first thing was a hiccup burp. I apologize. It's something that just happens on the truck driving trail. Damn it, I know I'm not hitting it that much. Woo! Almost took out that car. Sorry, buddy, I was avoiding rumble strips. Oh, we got a turn up here, it looks like. Oh, come on now. You all are just trying to hit me. There's like no giveaway out in this game. It's just like you're either going to hit them or you're not. Which I guess that's the way it is in real life. But anyway, what I meant was, you know, games are supposed to give you some kind of leeway because it's you're not really driving. So, you know. Okay, yeah, we do this. We do the loop-de-loop -loop here. Definitely need to slow down a little bit. Let's get over. Because I'd rather go into the grass over there than into a car. A bus is trying to pass me on one of these roundabout things. That is bullshit. Most people wouldn't do that. I hope you get caught up. Good. You deserve that. Asshole. <laughs> so what do we just do? Go around Berlin, I think? Why are we going... This doesn't make sense. Okay. Zooming in, it makes sense. I, I stand corrected. I'm sorry. Makes total sense now. And then up here, we'll go off to the right and head east again. We've been to Berlin, I know, because I got super excited about going there. Let's take the asphalt here. I <laughs> really wish we had those signs in America. That'd make learning to drive so much better. Because I've been driving forever, so I guess it wouldn't be much to me. Meow, 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 trucker, meow, meow. It looks like a college dorm up there. At a campus that's nearby. I like how that lane over there is a totally different color. So you all keep saying they're making a Euro truck, or it's like an American truck simulator, so I am all over that, if they do. 
I will totally be getting that. But I was reading an article on the PC Gamer website the other day. It said the company that makes this game is actually working on like some other type of game where you're controlling robots to take care of spills and things like that. So if they're working on that, I don't see them working on an American truck simulator. Let's see, we're getting off here. Yes, yes, suggested speed of 40. I, I got gotcha. you. Remember, it's just suggested. This is one of those. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Famous last words. Oh my god. Um. What did I damage is what I want to know. Did I damage the truck or the haul? <laughs> I deserve that. I totally deserve that. Let's see. F7. Okay, I damaged my truck, not the load. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it was because I was tired. Damn straight it was. Let's get over. Looks like it's starting to cloud up anyway. Um, we don't want to drive if it's going to be cloudy. <laughs> uh, what does that do, Holland? It looks like it had the state of Ohio on the side of it. It's crazy. I see some factories up here. Poznan? Poznan? Poznan. Let's see, we're getting off here. There goes a truck that looks like... Oh, it's the same one. Yeah, it looks like it's got the state of Ohio on the side of it. Might be coming from Cincinnati. How about that? Well, that was very close back there, though, coming off that on-ramp. Off-ramp. These Native American huts? No. Are they? Native Americans are in Europe. Oh, la, 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 la. No. All right, we'll stop right there. That <laughs> that 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 was that sounded terrible. Man, look at the view out here. I've hit those way too many times on this trip. I really hope there's a rest stop up here somewhere. Because my dude's getting tired. Move, lead Luigi. I can't see my mirror. There you go. I'm hitting the rumble. Ah, oh, blessed. Yes. We can get some gas and take us a nap. We'll deliver this about 12 at night then. So it all works out in the end. Oh, Texaco. Hey, the Ohio truck's stopping here too. So I gotta wait for him to get done, don't I? He got gas awful fast. Is there even a place for me to sleep up here? Yeah, I think I can sleep there. Stop our engine. Fill this bad jewel up. Probably another 600 bucks. Oh, 734. Dang. It's a busy petrol station. Pull up here and get us some quick, quick good night sleeps. Make sure everything's looking secure. We're in our spot. There we go. Shut this off and we'll take us a nap. 
So we had an interesting day. Hey, Driver George made 3,315, 350-something, I think. He is leveled up. Good job, George. All right. Let's get this started again. Now, for some reason, let me pause this and try to fix my lights again. All right, got this knocked out. Got the lights working now. So let's uh, take off, get back on the road. So I got everything uh, programmed here so I can do the regular lights and the brights as well. So, seems like a good deal. Of course, we're going to leave it on brights because we're dicks. And we'll finish the rest of our trip. Looks like we're going to finish about 4 in the morning. I'm sure that was a good view off this bridge here, but nobody gets to see it because it's night time. Sorry. It's just the life of a trucker. Those solemn days where you just got to drive all you can. What is this up here? What is this nonsense? Oh, it's just a place to sleep. So yeah, I had two options if I needed to sleep. Toll roads are closed. Oh man, I didn't know that. Do they close at night? Man, I'd have tried to come through here. That would have saved me a lot of heartache in the earlier episodes. I guess we're crossing over into Poland. No, oh, it looks like the toll roads are up here. No more ramming speed. I, uh... I really thought that would have worked that time. I really thought that was going to work. Let's go ahead... hit the inner key. I don't think we paid. We must have picked up a ticket, so. What the? Don't shut it on my truck, you dumbass. At least it didn't in, It didn't damage it, but yeah, he sl shut that thing right on my truck. On what I'm hauling. Bullshit. See the moon in my mirror. That's pretty cool. He's hiding behind the trees. So yeah, we only got about an hour to drive, and we will knock out yet another delivery for Third Reich Trucking. Where are the guys to go to? If you want to move it quick, and you want to move it fast, our Blitzkrieg service will settle you up. We'll go in, unload it for you, and walk out like it was our own. It's Third Reich Trucking based out of Germany. Oh, there's a cool little... I wonder if that's one of those land bridges or... Posden. Posden. I want to say it's Posden, but not Posden. I don't know. I'm not an expert on these Polish cities. Posden would seem to be right. 65 miles per hour. That will speed up our trip a little bit. Charge! Now, right here, it looks like you're driving into Louisville, it seems like. Except for the little spinner things up there. But, yeah, is this city the farthest you can go east? Or is it close to it, I think? Looks like we're coming up on it. Ooh. 
Rokla seems to be just a little bit farther east. This is a good uh, start. Maybe next time we'll be able to uh, head south. Check it out. It's a thought, anyhow. It's me thinking out loud, seeing what I want to do. Terrible if I bumped this guy off the road. <laughs> so, what are you carrying? A bomb? Ooh, it would be terrible if we just dropped that right here. So, we're only 26 miles out. Uh, hopefully, the rest of the way is main road. That's my thought, anyhow. Why is this car slowing down in front of me? What are you slowing down for? Oh, road construction. Here's what I think about your road construction. The faster you get by it, the less you have to deal with it. Aw, oh, yeah. But now up here, with these guys, we're going to have to stop. Let me shoot over here in this empty lane. Woo, slow down. Lane number eight. Fifty-four bucks. I can handle that. They don't shut it on me this time. Okay, good job. What is that truck in front of me? That BCP, that looks pretty cool. There's another one. That's neat. I ain't seen, I've not seen those before. He's obviously faster than me. Someday I will upgrade my trucks. Need to get some more trucks for my garage. I can't afford that yet either. I'd like to have five people based out of that area. But I don't think I can afford to take out another loan yet. Oh, we're up here to the exit, it seems like. They will be home free. I can see the destination. We are almost there, Gamer Nation. Going through some road construction, because we obviously can't go straight. It's kind of creepy. There's no lights down here or anything. Oh, good lord, I don't want... Oh, no! We were so close. He come up on me. Honestly, I didn't even look for him. That was my fault. Let's see how much he damages. Another 1%. Oh, shit. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted! That was not a lucrative ending to this episode. I should have looked. I should have looked. Let's see, clear this way and clear that way. That's what you get, gamers, when you're lazy, you're tired, and it's 3.30 in the morning, you don't pay attention, and you hit things. That 3% is going to dock our pay. We are now in the city limits, and damn, check out the moon now. He's like, hey, remember me? He said I was hiding. Here I am. It looks like a pretty titty. Pretty titty. <laughs> it looks like a pretty titty up here. It looks like a pretty city from a distance. Oh, we're turning here, but we've hit a red light, so we're not turning anywhere. He's got an awkward-looking truck. Awkward load. There's things in the city I need to unlock. Let's 
pretty titty, you know. Poznan, now known as the pretty titty. Probably a strip club there named that. If there's a strip club there, I want somebody to invite me to come visit the pretty titty. I think if I ever opened my own strip club, I would name it that. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the pretty titty. Alright, we are going right here. Hooray! Yep, we're going to hit enter right here. Bam! 17 hours. Good work to get there. 17,000. Are we going to level up? We are! Yes! We're level 12, a skilled worker. It's nice. Um, twenty percent higher delivery distance. That's for doing the long ones. Um, let's rank four. Do on just in time delivery. Twelve percent higher reward. Get just in time delivery. So I can have one of those maxed out. Alright, so we're here in Poznan. Um, I'm going to go over here and ride around the town and see what this is back here. Maybe it's a recruitment agency. But uh, hopefully, you all have enjoyed this episode of Euro Truck Simulator. I know I have. I always enjoy playing this game. Uh, let me know where you want to go next time, gamers. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.